love brand. I mean, how were you able to collaborate and build your brand, especially on social media? Because we know the impact that social media has. Well, that's the thing about social media. Social media is the leveling, leveling field within the brand. And here is the thing. All of us have a personal brand, the same way that all of us have an Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and otherwise. That brand is now entirely up to you. And if you listen to what Corey said, Corey expresses the transition from basketball to television. But that transition wasn't as different as we all think. It's switching one experience and talent for another. And it's switching one type of un understanding of an op occupation for another. But let me make this very clear. Right now, as Corey's on television and myself, I also do a lot of television. It's called show business. And it should be called business show because that business is an aspect <laughs> that they do not teach us business when you're show. in high school. And they Amen. do not teach you when you're in college. They do not teach you when you start that first contract. They don't teach you when you get a rap deal and get that 360. It should be called business show because that business is more important and influential. And the difference between myself as a comedian and Corey as a basketball player is very nominal because guess what? When you look at LeBron James getting a hundred million dollar a year contract, LeBron James gets a hundred million dollars a year. Not only is he a phenomenal basketball player, but because when he steps into a stadium, he sells that many tickets. And in fact, LeBron James, when you look at him as an athlete, his $100 million that he gets is actually a commission for the $1 billion plus business that he contributes to any franchise that he's a part of. And he gets a commission. And when you think about it, it's actually a very small commission at that. It's simply 10 or maybe 20% of all of the revenue that he attributes, contributes, and distributes within. Now, why, why is branding so important? Because you're only as good as your last hit. We all know this because we do this subconsciously, whether you realize it or not. In 2016, 2 Chains was the hottest rapper on the planet. But when he drops an album tomorrow, you might check it out, but you're not as interested because it's been so long in between songs. And I use 2 Chains because I'm a 2 Chains fan. But then you see somebody like Drake who makes sure to stay on top of all the trends and all the singles all the time, which is why he stays as relevant as day one. A lot of artists, they need a break. A lot of athletes, our bodies get fatigued. We all need that. But our minds, thankfully, our minds, our minds are always working. And that's what branding really is. It's about working smarter and not always harder. And the way you work smart is by collecting that tribe, that group of people who are your supporters, who are your true fans. And, uh, and unfortunately, they're not always friends. They're not always friends. Friends are the ones who ask for free t-shirts and fans are the ones who are willing to pay $10. And that's why I self-promote because I self-promote and, and I say it's shameless, but there is no shame in this game. I self-promote because it, your network is your net worth. And that means your social network is your social net worth. And when it comes to that, people often, they'll say something to me like, Tehran, man, you wear your name on your hat. You wear your name on your shirt. Oh, that's so silly. And I look at them and I go, you're wearing Ralph Lauren. Do you realize that's right. somebody's name? That's literally someone's name. You're wearing Tommy Hilfiger. That's his nickname. And it's like, you might as well just wear a social security number. Louis Vuitton and Prada and all these brand names that we all love, all those are just people's names. So I'm going to promote and, and, and advertise myself. Every time you turn on the television and you watch those TV shows, don't forget, advertisement is what pays for it. And McDonald's, which has sold over a billion serve, McDonald's still has commercials during that halftime game at the Super Bowl. So so should you in your own way, in your own manner. And that means applying it to your social media and being responsible and accountable for thus. It means applying it to your own personal characteristic and the way you hold yourself, who do you want the world to see you as? Who do you want to portray? Who do you think companies would go into business with? And it means being true to yourself, but being the best yourself that you can be true to.